Hello and welcome. Today we are looking at the basic stock valuation model, which is known as the discount dividend model. Now this is a basic one that everything else kind of builds off of. All right. So under this model is that we have a couple of assumptions here. Okay. And on our assumptions is that we are going to look at our yields, right? Or how much our return is going to be. We look at this in typically in terms of annual time periods. So we're trying to try and figure out what our annual yield is going to be. Now keep in mind that our yield itself is going to be broken down into two components. The first component is what is known as our dividend yield. Okay, so we have our dividend yield. This is how much the company actually pays out in dividends, whether it's quarterly, semi-annual, annual, how much they are actually paying out in dividends, how much they're distributing to their shareholders. Okay, so that's one component. Okay, then we have another component that's going to come into this, and this is that capital gains yield. Okay, and this capital gains yield is basically the change in price. We can also call this, okay, AKA, this is the price appreciation yield. Okay, so we have our dividend yield plus our capital gains yield. How much has the price increased over the last year? Okay, so if we are now trying to do this, we're trying to figure out, hey, what is the price today, right? We have a subscript of zero. P sub zero means the price today. P sub one is going to be the price in one year from now, okay? So what we're looking at here is that we're gonna look at the, the price today is gonna to be given by these two components of the yield, okay? And the first part is that dividend yield. So we're gonna be looking at our dividend and we're gonna be estimating this at the dividend that we receive in one year from now. So right, we're just estimating that we have an, an annual dividend, okay? So we're saying, all right, what's my dividend going to be in one year from now, right? D, D sub one, okay? And then the other thing, the central component of finance, right, is that we have to discount everything, our time value of money. So we still have to discount this, okay? And it's going to be one plus R to the first power, right? Because it's one year from now, okay? One time period. So then the next thing we're looking at is our, our capital gains yield, okay? So our price tomorrow is basically is P1, P sub one, that's the price tomorrow, and then we're going to discount that back as well. Now what we see in this is that we're going to be looking at the price next year. So if we're evaluating the price today, we're saying, all right, what is our expected dividend over the next year going to be? That is this component right here. The, our dividend over the next year. And they were saying, all right, what, what am I going to be able to sell this for next year if I want to? What's the value next year going to be? And that is what's given by that P1 right here. Okay. So we can take a basic example here is that we say, all right, we have this company. We have, say, uh, say, ABC Incorporated, okay? We have ABC Incorporated, and we're estimating ABC Incorporated is going to be paying a dividend next year in the amount of, say, uh, $3, okay? And we did some analysis, and we said, all right, our price next year is going to be $28, okay? And we say that's what our expectation is. Now, given the relative riskiness of the stock, right, because we know that the riskier the stock is, the higher my required return is going to be, let's say that R is, uh, say, 10%, okay? So now we have enough information to figure out what our estimated value of the stock is today, right? And so our basic question here is that let's say today's price, right, today's price, the price it's selling for on the stock market is, say, $27. Okay, so we're going to try and figure out, should I buy this stock or not? Okay, so the way we're going to pl plug this stuff in is we're going to have our price today is equal to 3 divided by 1 plus 0.1, right, to the first power, plus 28 divided by that 1 plus 0.1 to the first power. So we say our price here is $28.18, right? We just do the math through and we come up with that basic valuation. Okay, so that's telling us we have this, this stock price is 28.18. That's what we think it's worth. And if it's selling for $27, should we buy it? Yeah, it'd probably be a good idea. You know, we think that it's worth 28.18. It's selling for 27. So basically, um, I'm making a dollar 18 off the top. I think the price is going to increase. Okay, so that's a basic way that we do the discount dividend model. The next video that we're looking at is going to be an extension of this because we can take this basic model and stretch it out just a little bit. Okay.